Let's have a closer look at how to design an expansion bottle for a cooling system. First of all, why do you need an expansion bottle in a cooling system? Because cars should operate in a certain ambient temperature range and the water in the system is expanding. Additionally, the system gets hot when it's running and that means more expansion. The expansion bottle is also there to bleed the system. Ideally, cooling systems can bleed themselves and air in the system gets collected by the expansion bottle. Another requirement is to control the maximum pressure in the system. Higher pressure means higher boiling point. So water that would boil at 100 degrees Celsius can withstand higher temperatures when it's under pressure. There are different concepts of expansion bottles. Older cars use radiators with a vertical flow and the expansion part is simply the upper collector. Or Teslas use a through flow through the expansion bottle to collect air from the system. Or my Viper RT10 has two expansion bottles where one tops up the other. The standard design is a single connection to the pipe right in front of the water pump suction site. So the water pump can always suck water from the expansion bottle and there is less risk of getting air bubbles into the pump, which could damage it. Also, this position is the coolest point within the cooling cycle, after the exit of a radiator. And we have the lowest pressure because we are on the pump suction side, so we can design the bottle lighter. So if we want to design an expansion bottle, we first need to know what's the overall coolant volume in the system. If a car is designed to operate between minus 40 degree and plus 50 degree ambient temperature, we can calculate our minimum and maximum volume. This defines our min and max line on the bottle. We then need to account for the most extreme situations the customer could be in. So we assume the coolant is on the minimum line, minus 40 degree, and design the expansion bottle for a maximum tilt angle in every direction of 45 degree. This simulates parking the car at an extreme angle, but also driving with up to 1g acceleration in any direction. In these situations, coolant should constantly cover the hose connection at the bottom, so you don't suck air into the cooling system, resulting in cooling problems. Because of these requirements, the ideal shape for a reservoir is spherical. So we can make sure that even at minimum volume and at 45 degree angle in any direction, the hose connection at the bottom is covered with coolant. The next thing is pressure in the system. To build up pressure, the cooling system needs to be closed. If you think about that combustion engines and customer hands can operate at up to 120 degrees Celsius, there is a significant expansion happening. To compensate that, you need a sufficient air volume in the expansion bottle. And that's the reason why min and max line are usually in the lower half of the bottle. To make sure that a maximum pressure is not exceeded, the cap has a pressure relief valve. This maximum pressure is usually between 3 and 4 bar, which should be enough for a 140 degree boiling point. And the next job for the expansion bottle is to bleed the system. So it should be mounted at the highest point and bleeder hoses can be connected to it, especially from areas where air is likely to be trapped. So for a combustion engine car, a spherical expansion bottle is the lightest and easiest shape. Also, it's the best shape to withstand the maximum pressure. Downside is that it's hard to package and cannot fit everywhere. If manufacturers cannot fit the standard sphere somewhere in the engine bay, they need to design custom shaped expansion bottles. That is very expensive because you need to develop the part for all the cases above and you then probably only use the part for one car type. So production numbers are not that high. For electric cars, the requirements are slightly less because they operate at lower temperatures. Hence, they don't need to build and withstand such high pressure. And so they don't need so much air volume. Hybrid cars, on the other hand, usually use two expansion bottles because combustion and electric drivetrain work on different temperature levels. So I hope you liked this little insight and if you did, please consider to become a B-Sport Club member for more videos like this. See you at the next video.